And welcome back everybody. Thank you for uh, watching the video today. I'm Dr. Will Richardson, skin wizard from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Natura Dermatology and Cosmetics. So I was uh, doing Mohs surgery today and the conversation always comes up for those of you that don't know what Mohs surgery is. That is a special surgery whereby we take out small layers of tumor from a patient. And as surgeons, we look at it underneath the microscope. And when we see all the cancer cells are gone, we actually do the repair, most of us do. Some send it out to plastic surgery. I do my repairs personally. Um, so sunscreen comes up. It's cancer day, taking out cancers at the office. And everyone always wants to know, well, what sunscreen should I use? Probably the most important by far is to use an SPF 30 for areas below the neck. And you actually can get added benefit from an SPF 100 for the face. There was a study that came out about a year ago now that showed that an SPF 100 on the face does have added benefit over an SPF 30. That number is part of the journey. You also want to make sure it says broad spectrum on the bottle. So you want at least an SPF 30 and broad spectrum written on the bottle. That broad spectrum means it protects against UVA sunlight. UVA sunlight <clears throat> is the type of light that causes aging and melanoma. The number refers to UVB protection. UVB causes non-melanoma skin cancers like basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas. So broad spectrum sunscreen, at least an SPF 30 for the body. SPF 100, go all the way up as much as you want to for the face. And uh, that'll be great to prevent aging. A uh, word about application as we wrap up this two minute segment. Application, apply every two hours if you're going to be outside. And uh, certainly if you're sweating or doing labor activities or in the water, reapply, towel off and reapply. Thanks so much for joining me tonight and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks everybody.